For number 2, we are going to multiply these two algebraic fractions. And to do this, we'll first factor the numerators and the denominators of both fractions. And then we'll see if there's any factor that's the same on the top and on the bottom so that we can cancel them out. At the end, we'll just put all the remaining things together. Let's begin by factoring the x squared minus 3x. We see that it has only two terms, and then both of them have an x in common. So we can factor out the common factor x. Let's put on the x and then also open the parentheses. For the remaining things right here, we see that for the first term, originally we have x squared, but then we factor out an x, so we have an x left. And then for the second term, originally it was a negative 3x, but then we factor out an x, so we have a minus 3x. As you can see, I just put on the result of the factoring right above this numerator. I think it's more organized this way. Also, we can do a quick check. If we distribute this x into the parentheses, x times x will give us x squared, and x times negative 3 will give us negative 3x. Therefore, we know this factoring was correct. And now we move to the denominator right here, x plus 3. The good thing right here is that we don't need to do anything with it, because x and 3, they have nothing in common, and this is x to the first power. We know this is done for sure. And now let's move to this trinomial, x squared plus 5x plus 6. To factor out this trinomial, it's not that bad. Whenever we have a 1 in front of the x squared, we can do the following. We first open two parentheses, and then we look at the x squared and ask ourselves, what times 1 will give us x squared? We already know that x times x will give us x squared. And then we move to the number right here, plus the 6. We ask ourselves, what times 1 will give us plus the 6? In the meantime, those two numbers have to add up to this number right here, plus the 5. So the correct choice in this case will be plus the 2 and plus the 3. So I will write down plus 2 right here, plus 3 right here. The order doesn't matter, okay? And we see that 2 times 3, that will give us plus the 6, and then 2 plus 3, that will give us plus the 5. So that's how we can do factoring when we don't have a number so technically, this is like a 1 in front of the x squared. And we can do another practice right here. x squared minus x minus 6. Let's immediately open two parentheses. What times 4 will give us x squared? x times x will give us x squared. Let's put that down. And look at the number right here. We have negative 6 in this case, right? So what times 4 will give us negative 6? In the meantime, they will add up to negative 1. The combination in this case will be negative 3 and plus 2. Once again, the water doesn't matter, but then we have to make sure that negative 3 times plus 2 will give us negative 6, and then negative 3 plus 2 will give us negative 1. So we know this is the correct factoring. Anyways, after we have factored out everything right here, it comes to the best part. We are going to see how to cancel things out. Well. I'm looking at this factor first, I have an x, and I want to see on the bottom do we have any x that we can cancel it out. But then we can only cancel the factors, like the parentheses. So I cannot cancel this x with that x, because this is technically x plus 3 in a parentheses. Alright, so this x is surviving, so it doesn't get uh, cancelled out. And then the next factor, x minus 3 in a parentheses, it's exactly the same as this factor x minus 3. So we can cancel this and that together, and then we move to the next factor, x plus 2, which is the same as this one. So we can cancel them out. And then we see that the next one is x plus 3, but then we also have another x plus 3 right there. So we can cancel this one and that out together. At the end, what do we have left? We only have the x on the numerator, and that's the answer. Everything will be just x at the end. So this right here will be the answer, and that's answer choice A in the answer choices. That's it.